Hello everyone, this is Yan Xu. I'm going to present our work, SoftVoxel, self-supervised LiDAR dormitory with voxel-based deep neural networks. We human beings can infer our motion naturally from the environment observation. However, it's not trivial for the robot. The LiDAR dormitory is a task to estimate the agent's ego motion from the captured LiDAR scans. In our work, we mainly target at the two-frame-based ego motion estimation with neural networks which is more basic and is the foundation of multi-frame-based methods. Recently, the learning-based method provides a more efficient way to light our dormitory and have demonstrated their competitiveness. However, conventional learning-based methods still face substantial challenges. Previous work simply project the LiDAR points onto a cylinder surface to obtain a 2D image, and then borrow the similar idea from the real dormitory. The 2D convolution ignores the 3D topology and may contaminate the feature encoding and cannot capture the geometric information efficiently. Moreover, most previous learning-based methods still rely on huge amount of label data for training, which is costly to deploy in practice. In our work, we propose a LiDAR dormitory framework based on the 3D deep neural networks named SoftVoxel. We abandon the previous 2D projection process and propose to directly digest the raw data parts with the voxel-based 3D convolution modules. Compared with 2D convolution, the 3D convolution constrains the convolution space within a local area in 3D space, which is capable of hierarchically extract the features we are retaining the 3D topology. After the 3D feature extraction, we concatenate the features channelwisely from two scans and reshape to the bird wheel space for efficient ego motion regression. Based on these 3D features, we also predict the pointwise confidences to handle the unreliable regions such as moving objects and noises. To suit our network to self supervise the learning, we leverage geometric consistency and propose several losses to train the network in the wild. The spherical reprojection loss borrows some ideas from the reprojection error widely used in visual dormitory. We find the correspondence with nearest neighbor searching and virtually project the correspondence point onto a unique sphere. Then the spherical reprojection loss pushes the ego motion prediction to minimize its geodesic distance between the projected correspondence points on this sphere. To stabilize and speed up the convergence, we further incorporate the point-to-plane SAP into the training process. For more accurate correspondence identifying in SAP, we first transform the source point cloud with our current ego motion prediction before conducting the SAP iteration. After the SAP iteration, we rectify our current prediction with the ICP result and obtain a more accurate target to pursue. Moreover, we also propose to use deep flow supervision loss to enhance the pointwise feature representation and take the range alignment arrow to guide the pointwise confidence learning. We compare our method with other competitive candidates on KT odometry dataset. We ought to perform the conventional unsupervised method even with light training data. By adding more training data, our performance can be further improved. We further couple our method with a mapping module and find our method achieves comparable performance to the cutting edge supervised counterparts. To give you a better sense of our prediction quality, we plot the accumulated trajectory of our methods on the KT dataset, our method achieves low drift errors on the length of more than one kilometer with no mapping refinement or loop closure. Our confidence prediction visualization on the left verifies that our network is capable of identifying the moving objects and assign a lower weights on them in the loss functions. The runtime analysis on the right side shows that our module can run in real time, which is suitable for practical usage. Thanks for your attention.